28 students from eight countries have one mission, to design a space station as a gateway to the moon, Mars and beyond. Which of the two teams will convince the European-Russian customers of their concept in just five days? The main task of this year's workshop is actually um, to design a space station in low lunar orbit and um, to design the transfer vehicles or the transfer trajectory and the entire mission around that. To be able to fulfill such a comprehensive task in such a short time frame, the students are provided with a clear methodology and special software tools. A space engineer has to understand uh, for which environment uh, he's going to work. That is the vacuum of space, uh, high temperatures or very low temperatures, high velocities and small systems margins. You cannot uh, in space uh, compensate ignorance by safety factors. Otherwise, a space vehicle like an aircraft uh, would not fly. I think there's, there's actually two very difficult tasks. Of course, the difficult task is to, to actually get the technical side of the whole system running to actually come up with a feasible space station design, and that's what we are actually looking at as a customer, that the, the technical side is correct. But on the other hand, a very difficult task for the teams is to actually get the teamwork running. The experience that they want should get is in team management and project management, so actually getting everyone to work in the same direction. they should get a very thorough overview of what the systems are for a space station, how complex the system actually is and what different parts are um, interfacing and interrelated for such a system. We're in uh, the third day and we've got to present our final results tomorrow and I think we're on track. is very exciting working on something this big is absolutely mind-blowing the, the, the challenge of the work itself is really good um, accomplishing little milestones here and there as you go along is, is really satisfying and obviously there's after hours um, partying so to speak so that's always good as well the 
great opportunity to work with people from other countries and other backgrounds. Everyone's brought different ideas to the table and it's great to hear about opportunities overseas and what other people are learning about. And also, uh, that is my experience, uh, a factor which is underestimated, that is the multicultural approach. Uh, German engineer uh, approaches uh, problems differently as opposed to Americans or Russians. Welcome to the future. Today is 2009 and we would like, you to, we would like to introduce you to the Blue Lunar Support Hub, or warmly known as Blush. In phase one, we will give you the capability to support six people for short-term periods of up to 20 days. We have a total storage volume of pressurised balloons of 58.8 Workshop, it would be to say, I would say uh, it was a uh, hard working and hard timing, but very interesting. Yeah. Everyone in my team are wonderful people and they really, really put their hearts into it. I guess once you've, you know, worked till midnight with a bunch of people over a couple of days, you become really good friends. I mean, with my team, we bonded quite, quite well. I'm deeply impressed uh, about the motivation and dedication uh, of the uh, students here in Australia. I'd um, just like to thank everyone from Stuttgart University and the IRS specifically for organising the Space Station Design Workshop at Sydney University and for uh, giving us this opportunity.